Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the repeater element in Oxygen to create a featured post sidebar area in your single post template in Oxygen. So on this side, I've already got my basic template structure set up. So if we go to Oxygen templates, we have a main template, which has our header and footer, a blog post index, which is the front end of the site where the posts are displayed, and then our single post template, which renders the individual posts when you click them to check them out. So we're gonna be working in the single post template. So let's click it and click edit with oxygen. So as you can see here, we have a basic blog layout with a main content area and then a sidebar here. So what we want to do is we want to add a short featured posts list to this sidebar. And we're going to do it with Oxygen's repeater element so that we have complete control over how it looks. So let's click add and type repeater. And we'll add the repeater here. Now for the query, we want to choose uh, custom. And for now, we're just going to choose post because we want to return all the posts, right? And let's click apply query param so that we can see what that does. And as you can see, we now have several elements, one for each post. So now we need to start adding some content to this. So let's click add. And first, let's do an image because we want the featured image to show up here. So let's click image. And as you can see, it's updated for all the posts that are returned. And we're going to set uh, the image URL using the data button. So we'll click data and choose feature image and click insert. Now the first post is a post that does not have a featured image, but once we're done, it won't actually be returned. So you can see the actual effect down here on the um, other posts. So we're going to set the max width or the width to this uh, to maybe, I don't know, 30%. Uh, we don't want it huge. And then uh, we want to add the title of the post. So let's uh, click add and do a heading. We're going to choose uh, H3 tag to make it uh, smaller. Actually, that's still too big. Let's try H4. Actually, that's still way too big. So we're going to adjust the font size manually here. Uh, let's do something like, uh, I don't know, 16. I don't like going much smaller than 16 pixels. Uh, then let's double click the headline here. And let's go up to insert data in the top bar and choose title insert. Perfect. And now on the div itself, we want to choose stack child elements horizontally. And then let's try middle vertical alignment. Yeah, that looks decent. And then let's add some space to the left of our title. So choose the title, go to size and spacing, and let's add 16 pixels of margin. Now, one thing we want to do is make this thing clickable. So we need to choose the div here and click the link icon up here at the top. So we're going to click that, which will make the whole thing into a link wrapper. Uh, and then close out of this. And instead of doing that, we're going to use the data uh, button in the URL field here on the properties pane and we're going to choose the post permalink. Okay, so now this whole thing's clickable and should lead us to the post. Um, we did lose some styling here. Uh, we want everything to be left aligned there. Okay, sometimes switching to a link wrapper requires that you uh, realign elements. Um, we're going to uncheck allow multi-line and then what we want to do now is let's add some spacing below the div. So let's go to size and spacing and do maybe eight pixels of margin below to give some space. Okay. So now we have our basic uh, list. Now this is returning all posts. We're going to add some filtering here in a minute. Uh, but I do want a hover effect on this. So when we hover over this thing, uh, let's choose state here at the top of the properties pane and choose hover. Let's set the background color to uh, this light gray. And then let's go back to original and go to advanced effects transition and set a 0 0.3 second transition duration. So now we hover over it, we have this effect. And then for the text color here on the heading, let's change it to red. Perfect. Now we need to add an actual like heading above this section. So let's add a uh, heading and then drag it up here above our repeater. And we'll call this featured posts. 
and we want to add some spacing below that so advanced size and spacing actually we'll do uh, 32 pixels of margin above and 16 pixels below uh, so that gives us kind of our little area there for featured posts now let's save this and let's take a look on the front end at what that looks like and as you can see we have each post return now the first one again looks a little goofy because it doesn't have a featured image but we're not actually going to return that post so I'm not concerned about that um, so let's uh, go ahead and do some filtering on these so we're gonna go back to the admin panel and the way we're gonna filter these is by category so we're gonna go to posts and we're gonna pick say three posts and we're gonna add a category to them called featured okay and then that you know we like to leverage WordPress's built-in uh, functions when we can so no need for any custom taxonomies or anything we're just gonna add a featured category uh, let's pick a different post actually we need to update that first uh, go back to posts choose a different one and add that featured category and like I said we're only going to return three so we only need to add the category to three update and then let's go back to oxygen templates and go to the single post template and we're going to edit with oxygen and now we're going to select our repeater over here and we are going to uh, actually let's go to structure pane and make sure we have the repeater itself selected and not the repeater div that's an important uh, distinction to make so let's select the repeater and now in the properties pane we have the query options and we have the post post type selected which is what we wanted but we need to go to filtering and add the featured uh, category in the in any of the following taxonomies option so now if we apply query parameters we should have only three posts returned so let's take a look on the front end and as you can see we have three posts returned which are the posts that we selected uh, to have the featured category uh, now we might have more featured posts but maybe we only want to show three of them even if we have more so we need to go back over here and go to uh, count and we're gonna say three posts so now even if we had a hundred featured posts we would have only three returned on the front end so there we have our featured posts element set up in the sidebar which is clickable and takes us to each post and as you can see it's very easy to set something up uh, like this with the repeater and have the ability to design it using oxygen's basic elements so again this is elijah with the oxygen team and that's how to use the repeater element to set up a featured post section for your blog thank you for watching